Hello everyone, welcome to Math Systema Tips. In this video, we are solving the questions of NBHM PhD 2021, the question number 2, 3 and 4. The question 2 is from complex analysis, question 3 is from linear algebra and question 4 is from algebra or abstract algebra. So let's start the video and before starting the solution, I am requesting you to all those who are new in my channel, please like the video, comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe the channel. So question 2 says that, given the following Lorentz series expands and Lorentz series expands and is valid in the annulus, 1 less than mod z less than 2 what is a3 that means coefficient of zq we have to find the coefficient of zq and the series is given by <coughs> 1 by z minus 1 into 1 by z minus 2 is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity infinity in z power n now first we divide this given region into two sections so the given region is 1 less than mod z less than 2 now if, if we take first uh, part then we get 1 is less than mod of z now we have to find a quantity which is less than 1 so for the Lorentz series expansion so 1 by mod z is less than 1 also if we take the second part then mod z is less than 2 and this gives mod of z by 2 is less than 1 so we get these two part now we write the given term functions of z 1 by z minus 1 into 1 by into z minus 2 so we now first uh, uh, write this function as a uh, partial fraction so this is equal to 1 by z minus 2 minus this is an easy function 1 by z minus 1 so this is equal to if we take the common z by 2 so if we take minus 2 common from here minus 2 then we get uh, 1 minus z by 2 so this we get and minus sorry this will be minus if we take uh, z common to form like a function like this we get 1 by z into 1 minus 1 by z this so now we can write this is equal to minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus z by 2 inverse minus 1 by z into 1 minus 1 by z inverse now we use the expansion formula 1 minus x inverse this is equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube we know that this is a known expansion so we can write using this expansion this is equal to minus 1 by 2 into 1 plus z by 2 plus z square by 4 plus z cube by 8 uh, plus z cube by 8 plus so on and minus 1 by z into 1 plus 1 by z plus 1 by z square and so on we get these two series now we have to find the coefficient of zq so if we uh, see the first series then there is terms of zq but in the second uh, series the second part there is no terms of zq since this is 1 by z then 1 by z square that is z power minus 1 z power minus 2 z power minus 3 and so on so we don't need this part we only need this part to calculate our answer so the coefficient of zq this is equal to minus 1 by 2 into this is plus 1 by 8 so coefficient of zq it's minus 1 by 16 so this is the uh, answer of our problem so a3 is equal to our answer is minus 1 by 16 this is our answer now go to the next question the next question is from linear algebra the question says that let R3 be the real vector space consisting of 1 by 3 real matrices. Let A be the 3 by 3 matrix with the property that the linear transformation x to this xA from RQ to itself projects every vector x in R3 orthogonally on the line in the direction of 1 0 1 here x a denotes the usual matrix product of the matrices x and a or what is the sum of the entries of a so first we have to find the matrix a then uh, it is uh, easy uh, for us to uh, 
find our answer the sum of the entries of a this is a clear uh, question from orthogonal projection so the solution is projection of projection of a vector any vector b onto a line through a vector a this is a vector is given by given by this is the formula suppose this is the p is the projection is equal to x into a where x equal to this is equal to a transpose b by a transpose a into a vector so x is the this vector so this will be written as a into a transpose b by a transpose a this is equal to you can write a a transpose by a transpose a into p vector now p equal to we can write this suppose this is a matrix m so let us take and b so this m is called the projection matrix this m is called the projection matrix or m equal to this a a transpose by a transpose a this is the projection matrix so given that a is a vector 1 0 1 this is given in our question this is this vector 1 0 1 now a transpose is equal to simply we write 1 0 and 1 so we have to calculate this a transpose a a transpose by a transpose a so a transpose a this is equal to simply 1 0 1 into 1 0 1 so this is equal to simply 1 into 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 1 into 1 so this gives simply 1 plus 0 plus 1 this is equal to 2 and a since this is a matrix of 1 by 3 and 3 by 1 so this is a matrix of 1 by 1 simply and a a transpose this is equal to 1 0 1 into 1 0 1 this so this is a 3 by 1 matrix and this is a 1 by 3 matrix so the matrix should be 3 by 3 matrix so this is equal to if we multiply this 1 then 0 then 1 so 1 0 1 the second row is 0 and 0 0 0 and the next one is 1 0 1 this now therefore p equal to we write a a transpose by a transpose a so this is equal to 1 by 2 is the a transpose a into the matrix 1 0 1 0 0 0 and 1 0 1 this one therefore we have to find the sum of the entries sorry this is the matrix m the projection matrix m so the sum of entries equal to this is equal to whether it is given any matrix so uh, sum of entries this is equal to half into the sum is 4 is equal to 2 so 2 is our clear answer this is the answer of the above question this now go to the next question this question is a questions from algebra let g be denote the group of rational numbers q with respect to addition that means g is a group this is equal to q with respect to addition uh, what is the cardinality of the automorphism group of g uh, choose the correct option among the following four so there are four options given now <clears throat> we find this problem so start the solution of this problem so to find the cardinality of automorphism of q plus suppose phi x is automorphism the phi x equal to 
x into phi 1. This is the form of the automorphism. For every x belongs to q. So, let phi be the automorphism on q. So, we have first defined let phi be the automorphism on q. Phi is the automorphism. Then, for some n, phi of n, this is equal to, we can write phi of n times sum 1, 1 plus 1 plus plus 1. This is n times. Now we can write this by defined the automorphism above. So this can be write written as 1 plus phi 1 plus so on plus phi 1 n times n times phi 1. So this is we can write n into phi 1. This. Similarly, we can write phi of 1 this is equal to phi of n by n we can write so this is equal to we can write phi of 1 by n plus 1 by n plus 1 by n n times so this is equal to phi of 1 by n plus phi of 1 by n plus plus phi of 1 by n this is also n times phi 1 by n this is equal to n into pi 1 by n. We can write this. Therefore, since now since pi of 1, this is equal to n into pi 1 by n, it follows that pi of 1 by n, this is equal to 1 by n into pi 1, this one. Now, using this fact, Consider phi of m by n. So phi of m by n, this is equal to we can write phi of 1 by n plus 1 by n plus 1 by n. This is m times. Clear? You can write this. So this is equal to phi of 1 by n plus phi of 1 by n plus phi of 1 by n this is m times this is equal to m into phi 1 by n you can write this now <coughs> and since uh, now we have phi of 1 by n equal to 1 by n phi 1 and phi of m by n we prove that equal to m into n into m into 1 by n into phi of 1 this can be written as the proof already shown so this is equal to m by n into phi 1 so we prove these things so therefore therefore for any x belongs to q phi is an automorphism we prove that phi is an automorphism therefore phi of x this is equal to x into phi 1 since we define we can define an automorphism uh, for each q belongs to q we can define for each q belongs to capital q so phi 1 by setting phi of 1 this is equal to q so it follows for any q each q belongs to q we get an automorphism therefore it follows that automorphism of q plus simply this is equal to simply q and we know that the number of elements of q this is equal to aleph naught which is clearly countable and q is we know that q is countable therefore the answer is this is countable but not 
finite that means countably infinite is our answer so this is the questions so how was the how was the video if the video is helpful then please give a like to this video share with your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you friends see you again in the next video